In this problem, we have to find the six trig function values of theta, and we're told that the cosine of theta is equal to negative three over five, and we're also told that theta is in quadrant three. So there's a couple ways of doing this problem. We're gonna start by focusing on the quadrant. So let's draw a quick picture of the xy plane. So this is x and this is y. And so quadrant three is down here, right? It's one, two, three. This would be three down here, the shaded area. So in quadrant three, both x uh, and y are negative. So in this, in this quadrant, x and y are both negative. We also know that the cosine of theta is equal to x over r. And we're told in this problem that the cosine of theta is equal to negative three over five. So using matching, we can deduce that x is going to be equal to negative three and r is equal to five. Now you have to be really careful when you do stuff like this because you know, you can have situations like this, negative three over five equals negative six over 10. So then you can ask her the question, okay, which one is X? Is X negative three or is X negative six? So the only reason this works is because everything's already been reduced, right? You can't really simplify uh, negative three over five any further. So we're able to make this leap. Okay, so we have X, we have R, we have Y, uh, no, no, we don't have y. We have to find y. <laughs> so we have x, we have r. So now we have to find y. So to find y, we can use the formula r squared equals x squared plus y squared. So r is 5. So this is 5 squared. x is negative 3. So this is negative 3 squared. And we don't know y, so we're trying to find that. This is 25 equals 9 plus y squared. Subtracting nine will give us y squared equals 16. Taking the square root will give us y equals plus or minus four. So now we gotta go back to the quadrant. Well, we know that it's negative, so y equals negative four. So that's gonna be our y, there's our x, and there's our r. And with these three things, we can write down all of the answers. So sine, of theta is given by the formula y over r. In this case, y is negative four and r is five. Cosine of theta, that's given to us already in the problem, that's negative three over five. So that's one free answer that they give us in the problem. The tangent of theta is equal to y over x. So in this case, it'll be negative four over negative three, so that's just four over three. To find the other functions, we can just flip them because they will all be reciprocal functions. So the reciprocal of sine is cosecant, so you would get negative five over four. And the reciprocal of cosine is secant, so this would be negative five over three and the reciprocal of tangent would be cotangent. So this is three over four. And those would be the six trig function values of theta.